हाथ से मिला के हाथ चलना हमें है साथ साथ रास्ते रोशन यहाँ मंजिल करे नई बात बात चलना है लेके काफिले बढ़ना है मिटा के फासले पाना है आज तो आसमान ही देखा है The future ready at Royal Bahara University Chandigarh Education is the passport for future tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today a very good morning to all the students parents and dignitaries present here i am dwipan korwit your anchor for the day it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the 6th orientation day of university school of medical and allied sciences at riyadh bara university mohali today is the day of the students to get to know about their new journey and build their future we have with us today honorable dr shaina verma hod university school of medical and allied sciences mr manveer singh academic coordinator university school of medical and allied sciences Dr Amit Gupta clinical in charge University School of Medical and Allied Sciences and Dr Kavalpreet Kaur Now I request respected HOD Dr Shaina Verma to address the students over to you In ordinary life we hardly realize that we have received a great opportunity more than we give that it is only with gratitude that life becomes so rich good morning dear students i dr shaina verma head of the department university school of medical and allied sciences welcome all of you to all my dear students to this virtual orientation program as you all know that uh, covid period is going on and i hope that this periods get over as early as possible so that we can meet but now as the situation do not allow us do not allow us so let me take you to the tour of university school of medical and allied sciences i welcome you all again dear students so welcome to the university school of medical and allied sciences so in university school of medical and allied sciences the courses include i'll just explain you the courses and the eligibility so that if there is any doubt you can get clear from the eligibility criteria that whether you are eligible or not because you have taken admission here so first of all we offer the bachelor of physiotherapy that is called bpt this is 4.5 years course 4 years is your academic period and 6 months is your internship program right so eligibility for this program is 10 plus 2 medical with aggregate of 50% marks next we offer is bsc in medical lab technology again the eligibility is 10 plus 2 medical or non medical with aggregate of 50% marks here i want to clear that those students who have who are from non medical background we offer them a bridging course of biology in the first year so that they clear their doubts with the biology things and the biology subjects then only they will be eligible for the second year so this is compulsory subjects for those students who have who who are coming from the non medical background and again in uh, on plus 2 level the eligibility is aggregate of 50% next we offer is the bsc medical microbiology the eligibility is medical or non medical with aggregate of 50% again the biology as a the remedial biology as a bridging uh, subject is compulsory here for the non medical students next we offer is bsc in radiology and imaging technology the eligibility is again 10 plus 2 medical oblique non medical with aggregate of 50% marks and all the uh, students should uh, get their plus 2 level cleared from the recognized board or the institutes next we offer is the bsc in operation theater and anesthesia technology the eligibility is written here is the 10 plus 2 medical oblique non medical with aggregate of 50% marks in post graduation program we offer msc histopathology or you can say msc mlt histopathology msc in mlt with the specialization in histopathology so the eligibility for this is 
B.Sc. in Medical Lab Technology or B.Sc. MLT degree with 50% or above marks from any recognized college or the institution. Next we have is the M.Sc. Clinical Microbiology. This is again the eligibility here is B.Sc. MLT oblique medical microbiology degree with 50% or above marks from any recognized college or the institute. Next we offer is the MSc biochemistry that is eligibility is BSc MLT oblique medical microbiology with 50% or above marks from any college or uh, recognized college or the institute. Just remember the histopathology, clinical microbiology and biochemistry are also the branches of MSc MLT with three specialization. One is the histopathology, another is the clinical microbiology and another is the, the third one is the biochemistry. Next, we offer a diploma in medical lab technology. So eligibility is 10 plus 2 medical, oblique non-medical with aggregate of 50% marks. And the metric students also who don't want to pursue in plus 1 and plus 2 are also eligible for this diploma in medical lab technology. And they need to get metric with minimum 50% of marks as an eligibility criteria. Next, we offer the PhD as Medical University School of Medical and Allied Sciences open for all, all kind of medical PhDs, right, related to the sciences. So, eligibility criteria is masters or some students pursue with the MPhil program also after doing their masters. So, they are also eligible for this masters oblique MPhil with minimum aggregate of 60% is the criteria to take the admission in the PhD program. All these courses uh, the, the student should come from the recognized board or the institute. Only those students who come from the recognized board or the institute, recognized universities will be allowed to take admission in all the above mentioned courses. So, in medical, as a medical student, we emphasize our students to involve, to, to get more involved in the activities also. So, here are some glimpses of the activities that we have done in past years. I'll read it for you. We have organized conference that is National Conference on Rehabilitation in 2018. Again, we organized a national conference that called NSPR CME that, that was again on the rehabilitation in 2019. We inaugurated the Center for Red Cross Studies at RBU. We imparted training to more than 2,000 students for first aid. Then we offered an educational visit to Shri Ratwara Sahib old age home where students felt very good. They uh, got to know about the medical conditions of the people staying in the old age home. Then participation of students in National Youth Exchange Program camp by Red Cross that was held at Gwalior. The six students from the University School of Medical and Allied Sciences got the opportunity to take part in this National Youth Exchange Program. We organized many blood donation camps also. I have written only one. I'll show, I'll just share the pictures with you all. We organized many medical camps as medical sh student should be polished in such a manner that she or he should be ready for any kind of medical emergency. For that, we organized medical camps also. Then our students attended not only in the campus, we organized the uh, conferences, but our students also get the opportunity to attend the conference out of the campus and that conference was organized by the Indian Association of Physiotherapists at Shri Amritsar Sahib, Punjab chapter. So our students, our 100 students of physiotherapy course took, uh, they participated in this program that was national conference. We have conducted webinars, one, uh, one of the webinar was uh, conducted by physiotherapist of Miss Maricom and that was on the sports awareness, that was the role of physiotherapist in sports and fitness. Next webinar we organized on COVID-19, the role of medical professionals and the role of physiotherapists in uh, COVID-19. So heads of different institutes of Punjab, they uh, participated, they, act, they, they were the speaker of this program, of this webinar. So our students also celebrated World Physiotherapy Day virtually. I'll show you how. Our students celebrated Teachers Day virtually very well. I'll show you how. So next is the uh, video comes where our students celebrated this World Physiotherapy Day. Here is the video for you all.
so dear students here are some glimpses of the activities that we have done earlier the university school of medical and life sciences also organized the motivational lectures by the motivational speakers here is the opening of the red cross flag with his highness the governor of punjab here are the students of university school of medical and allied sciences these are the glimpses of some medical camps we organize medical camps in the schools also in the primary schools as well as the secondary schools these one are, are the pictures of the medical camps blood donation camps and visit to the rehabilitation centers now comes the opportunities for the students so here we do not focus only on the academic part but on your clinical practice part also well clinical practice is also a part of academics but when you are a medical student we the one the medical student should polish his or her skills because this is totally skill based profession whether it is medical lab technology whether it is bsc medical lab bsc medical microbiology physiotherapy histopathology this skills are very very important so here are the opportunities for the students we enhance this skill in our well equipped opds and labs actually it is not only the medical and allied school it is completely a medical hub we offer many medical courses in our in our university we have many departments we have dental departments we have nursing department we have pharmacy department and then we have sciences department and now we have university school of medical and allied sciences department so it's not only you work in the labs and opds of the medical and allied school the microbiology labs the pathology labs anatomy labs physiology labs are available in the campus everywhere in every of the medical department and you can go anywhere and you can do practice anywhere in any laboratory in any of the opd of the university this is open for all that is why it is not only called the medical but it is called the medical hub in riyadh bara university it is completely a medical hub then exposure in multi speciality hospitals it is also emphasized from the first year only from the first year only we introduce the lectures of the clinical visits our students used to visit the uh, opds of the multi speciality hospital just to make you familiar with the atmosphere of the hospitals then from the second uh, year we start with the clinical training process now we offer training and internship opportunities on national as well as on the international platform also we offer you the opportunities for the research also one of our student miss dweepan korvik and miss shreyanshi recently uh, uh, has registered uh, herself for the international program here is the glimpse here is the note of the student both of the uh, both of the girls have uh, registered for the internship program in australia in sydney video
dear students remember that when you walk through the floors of your department you are surrounded by people who deeply care about you who are guided by a passion for helping you to reach your potential and who wholeheartedly believe in you every day always we look forward to serving you and making sure you have an enjoyable and successful year so here is the list of the dedicated faculty who is going to help you in your academic very well so first is the it's it's my name that is dr shaina verma i am head of the department next is the dr sumedha bhatia dr neha sharma dr badri prasad joshi dr amit gupta dr kavalpreet kaur mr joseph masi mr manbir sidhu ms tarundeep kaur ms japrit kaur ms deepika rial and ms Par parveen kaur is executive ex assistant for any kind of official activity your fee problem or any kind of the form filling the, the parveen kaur ma'am is going to help you there all the faculty members are well qualified from the recognized institutes all all come from the different backgrounds some of some of the individuals some of the faculty members are from the physiotherapy background as this is a medical and light school some faculty members are from the medic uh, microbiology histopathology biochemistry radiology background so all the faculty these 12 faculty members are there who comes from the different different medical background to teach you now the vision we seek to be preeminent health research educational institution dedicated to community service to emerge as center of excellence and promote innovational leadership in the field of health sciences education research and healthcare delivery to provide skilled manpower and technological expertise in vast area of healthcare delivery system and often work within a multidisciplinary health team to provide the best patient outcome to provide access to superior quality integrated healthcare with excellence empathy and compassion dear students the coming years will be undoubtedly the most difficult but the most rewarding years of your life thus far when the difficulty comes remember you are here because you are worthy because someone entrusted that one day you will be capable of taking care of the world that walks through your front door so take an oath you will be caring kind empathetic to those who are going through the worst days of their lives and you will do so by carrying burden on your shoulders only a few in the world are permitted to carry this kind of burden you will do so with knowledge with grace and above all with humanity because you are here in the medical profession so i would like to say that enjoy this time study hard and try to do it for someone else be good to one another to your teachers to your patients and at last to yourself i wish you all the best i again welcome you to the university school of medical and allied sciences welcome to riyad bara university thank you thank you so much ma'am for your valuable words well dr shaina verma is the light of the department she is encouraging the students since the beginning of this department well education is not filling of pain but it is lightening of a fire now it is the time to start the orientation program for university school of hotel management and catering technology we have with us ms ravneet sethi head of unit of hotel management and catering technology mr bp bansal training and placement coordinator of hotel management and catering technology chef manjot from university school of hotel management and catering technology i would like to request ms ravneet sethi to address the students first the head of university school of management and catering technology she is qualified in mcom 
MBA in finance and HR MCA. She has seven year experience in Vidya Jyoti Education Society as assistant professor in management college. And she has eight year experience in Rayadbara University at University School of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. She is also an external examiner for various universities. Over to you, ma'am. Good afternoon. I, Ravneet Sethi, on behalf of University School of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Jayakara University, feel honored to welcome you all on this e orientation program. It gives me Im immense warmth and great pleasure to grace all of your presence in this program. I am hereby to give you a brief about the vision, objectives and success of our university during last so many years. Welcome you all in Riyadh Bara University and University School of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. What is hospitality industry? It is Atithi Devo Bhava, means we always welcome guests in hospital, always welcome guests. It's a tourism industry. It's the second largest industry out, out of the following three top foreign exchange earners, textiles, tourism, gem and jewelry. It is expected to be number one by 2025. In abroad, Every year, a job pertaining to the hospitality industry is created every 2.4 seconds. In India, a job pertaining to the same industry is created every 2.4 minutes. In India, number of hospitality professionals required per year 2.10 lakh. But we are just preparing 35,000. It means there is a gap of 1,85,000 professionals per year. We can say the demand of the hospitality students is a too much. You can get a jobs in hospitality industry. There are so many options in hospitality industries. You, can, you cannot say that you can join only in hotels. You can go to airlines, cruise lines, railway, catering, travel agencies, tourism departments, call centers, bank and insurance companies, even hospitals. Hospitals are also having kitchens for the patients and staff. You can go there also. It, there is, you, you can't say that you can only join private sector. You can go to government sector also. You can go to armies, government hospitals. Then vision of the Riyadhbara University. To establish knowledge, creation, and learning university to generate value-based, competent professional and globally competitive human capital comparable with the best in the world through, through research, driven multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary approach, continuous learning, societal responsiveness, and strategic partnership with the industry while being locally and globally responsive. Now I just want to convey one message. Why you are in Riyadhbara Universities? Because of Riyadhbara Universities provide you not only education. We are giving personality development. We are giving industry exposure to the students. Uh, continuous evaluate or, and here the evaluation of the marks is a credit based system. Now welcome to the University School of Hotel Management. what USHM City can offer to you. Academic excellence. We are giving quality teaching, high level of knowledge, creative thinking. You just, uh, here you study not only books, you will learn the creativity. Professionalism. You will be become good leader, consultant, advisor. You can you start your own business Courses. Courses offered by University School of Hotel Management and Catering Technology 
mainly bhm city and bhm we are offering two four years degree programs the basic difference between basic difference between bhm and bhm city is in bachelor in hotel management that is four year course in hotel management basically there are main four lines you can go to kitchen food production you can go to restaurant that is service front office housekeeping in bhm you study all these four subjects throughout the degree but in bhm city bachelor in hotel management and catering technology you study you can do the specialization and super specialization specialization means you in fifth semester you have you can choose kitchen and service that is one elective second option is you can also go also choose front office and housekeeping so in fifth and sixth semester in bhm city there is a specialization in seventh and eighth semester there is a super specialization another course that is we are offering that is b vocational that is 3 years degree then diploma in culinary arts we are offering three different diplomas diploma means it's a only one year or diploma in culinary arts means it's a diploma in food production diploma in f&b service and third is diploma in housekeeping and laundry the eligibility criteria for all degrees and diplomas there should be a plus 2 from the from any recognized board now i am showing you the infrastructure of hotel management this is a front office lab this is basic training kitchen we are having two kitchens one is basic tra training kitchen another is advanced training kitchen this is your advanced training kitchen bakery housekeeping lab laundry model guest room guest room that is the part of your housekeeping then now we are coming on the attendance students attendance participation and punctuality it's a very important student attendance we can calculate student attendance on monthly basis and displayed on the notice board we also inform the parents about the attendance of the students if the student is not coming into class we counsel them and motivate them so that they can they will come to the university and attend the classes and minimum attendance is 75% we can give the 5% attendance for the medical reason for any other reason maybe medical reason due to some family problem but you have to complete your attendance 75% students participation students participation is the most important because of it's a hospitality industry in hospitality industry in hotel management college you will you stud, you did not study only the books you have to participate you have to learn how to to become a entrepreneur how to start a business how to organize a event you will learn all these things in current semester we are planning some whole industrial visits like shivalik view hotel clarks park plaza or we also have planning to celebrate world celebration of world cleanliness day on 31st january 2021 then now i am telling you the pattern of the examination in examination you have to give two mid term test and one end term test mid term test means mst1 or mst2 in mst1 the pattern of mst1 is it uh, the total marks are 30 in section a you, number of questions are 5 you have to all attempt all the questions and each question carries one marks second part is short answers three questions you have to attempt it two and five marks each and total 10 marks in a comprehensive answers you will get three questions and you have to attempt any two 7.5 marks and total 15 and total marks are 30 same with the mst2 and end term in end term there is 50 marks first part 10 question one mark each compulsory short question six and you have to attempt any four five marks each and total 20 and comprehensive answer Three questions you have to attempt any two, ten marks each, and a twenty. Total marks for the end term is fifty. Yes, for a full evaluation on 
theory subjects msc average of msc 1 and 2 you have to appear in both the msc and we will calculate the average of both the msc out of 30 and continuous evaluation you will give you four assign we can give you four assignment seminar or viva and you, it's counts total 20 marks and term final 50 marks total theory exams are 100 marks each subject or in practicals theory marks are the same in practicals 50 marks for the internal practical and 50 marks for the external practicals or in case of vocational trainings and industrial trainings in bhm city after second semester you will go for a 45 days vocational training and in fourth semester for 6 months industrial training and in bhm students will go only in for industrial training after uh, in three after third semester or in diploma after one year students will go for a training in this students has to make the appraisal logbook training report and viva and presentation and submit all these documents and marks will be calculated on this industry industry institute interaction that's the most important in hotel management we are planning to visit lalith hotel bhm city 1 bhm and diploma students with mr bipin balsal who is the coordinator of training and placement also visit to jw merit with chef mohit guest lecture on scope of hospitality industry and key speaker would be chef manjot on march 11 2021 industrial visits the students already went these are the students your seniors they already went to park plaza zirakpur velvet clocks shivalik view blood donation camp we are also organizing so many events in university blood blood donation camp international cleaning day students achievement our students achievement third prize at cocktail competition in chandigarh university they also won the second second place in the pcte hospitality olympiad won the second place in the western dance at mit university chandigarh second runner up position at the chandigarh ihm chef competition at the end i want to say thank you all and welcome you all in the riyadh bara university university school of hotel management thank you recipes tell you nothing but learning techniques do now I would like to request Mr. Bipin Bansal to address the students. He is qualified in degree of American Hotel Lodging Association, and he is also has coagulation with IGNOU. He is also qualified in diploma from STEI Singapore. He has contributed. Six years as an industrial exposer and two plus years in teaching. He is looking after the training and placement coordination from past two years in University School of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. I welcome Mr. Bipin Bansal. Good afternoon, all. On behalf of University School of Hotel Management, I would like to welcome all. in e orientation which has been organized by us on a daily basis at the time of concern as we are in the covid-19 situation and uh, we will i would like to convey my affection in this terms of hospitality industry as ramneet ma'am has already said that hospitality industry is one of the growing sector in the world it's spot second in the world and it seems like i would like to convey my gracious experience in the industry to offer and i will love to work with the professional and personal well being in the hotel management in terms of training and placement so the training and placement is very important after the degree program and you will land across somewhere 
between one of the prestigious hotels like we will say Marriott Hotel, Taj and other hotels. So what the industry has to offer or what is meaning of a training in placement? I would love to brief you about the same. The first is the main motive to convey is to India GDP, gross domestic product. As you already know that we are in a part of globalization. So India gross domestic product is increasing. India see a further leader in terms of global domestic product. Number of international tourists are increasing day by day. And we are equally famous for our medical treatments as the we are almost second spot in terms of medical treatments which are coming to our country on a daily basis. India has got many historical places increasing customers demand. So where they will stay, they will already stay in the hospitality industry. So there is a huge demand for hospitality professionals in terms of working in the four core departments. The first is front office. Second is F&B services. The third is food production. And the fourth one is F&B services. So the globalization need for leadership and increased place of the human capital. As we already know, the human is the only concern in terms of technology and in terms of the things that is focus on the business strategies. So customer services and quality emphasis. We don't have to provide the quality, but we have to provide the quantity and the right amount of manpower. So next is training is an essential part of hospitality industry. In terms of performance and in terms of economical changes as well. Why training is important in my opinion the training is important because it gives you both platform of learning new techniques and to evaluate yourself to show your presence in the industry. So what are the various methods of training? The on-job training method and one is off-job training method. The first is on-job when you do actual on-job training. The second is off-job training in which you are doing role plays. As a part of a team, when we will, uh, when you come in a Riyadh Pahar University, we will give you a uh, focus on the role plays. There are various techniques that we will implement in terms of lecture modules, that is role plays and other things, which will be equally, equally important in terms of your professional and professional, sorry, personal growth, virtual organization, sorry, virtual organization and e-learning and job rotation. In hotels, you have an equal chance to do a job training in your own area of interest. What are the new trends in the technology? In today's hotel industry, we have new technology that is mobile. As you already know, you all are using smartphones. Smartphones are the most important part of our life. That is iPod. The second one is iPod. And the third one is your laptops we can say giving access to the technology give an impart to the psychological and physical needs of your life the last is the multitasking multitasking is not easy and training for it is a big deal so i will love to help you all in every concern in terms of multitasking and training provided, which is a needful step for our end. The training and placement will be a challenge for everyone because it will be worked upon throughout your beginning of the career and the continuous of evaluation. It's a part of learning evaluation, basically. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for your remarkable words. Well. Thomas Curthers well said that a teacher is the one who makes himself progressively unnecessary. Now, I would like to welcome our chef Manjur from University School of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. He is an executive chef come entrepreneur at Gastro Eatery Hub. 
He has been teaching from past two years. Welcome you, sir. Over to you. which is very important and uh, once the costing and everything is done uh, once the costing and everything is done uh, they can uh, next is the food and beverage department the food and beverage department is like you know it is again the main department of uh, the hospitality the hotel department in which uh, the you serve to the customers and uh, you should know like you know that which plate should go or where on which side you should serve the water and everything or which side you which type of wines or alcohol beverages should accompany my addiction and everything so that's very important which you will be doing in food and beverage department and uh, then if i talk about your housekeeping department your housekeeping department is basically in which you will be taking care of the cleanliness the the full you can say like you know the making of the rooms the room amenities what are different types of room amenities like you know which we place in the room like whenever we go to a hotel a five star hotel or a cruise ship right so you all would be knowing like you know that where we have to place a particular uh, uh, amenity what is the role of that particular amenity so which is very important which you all will be learning throughout this course and then we have our front office department our front office department is known as the front of the house area so it is the, also known as the reception area where the guest comes, he checks in and he gets the keys and everything. And even the cash payment, everything, whatever the mode of payment the guest wants to do, he does it over there. And uh, so these are the all four basic departments. And uh, uh, other than that, during this particular course, if I talk about your BHM, HMCT, after this, uh, like you know you even have some management uh, management programs which you, the students can join so you can straight away join as an empty pro uh, if you get selected in a various uh, hotels or something five star hotels or in a cruise ship you can join as an empty training uh, as an empty training program so empty training program like you know, uh, almost for 18 months or some hotels have it for 22 weeks so uh, you can go for that and later on you can be you could get hired as a on an executive position and you can choose one of a core department whatsoever suits you and uh, according to your interest so that is the best program like you know which every student wanted and like abroad they are having the OCLD program so that's the Abroad center of learning and development so when you, your graduation is completed from Raibara University, I just recommend the students to go the interviews at Abroad and uh, to be a part of OCLD and uh, everything. As I have also been a part of uh, Abroad, and you can always go to the cruise lines. You can work out on the restaurants if you want to open up your own restaurants or something like that. And uh, other than that, as I told you, you can even work into the government sectors. You can work in uh, with the hospital as well because even for hospital right if it, everything is concerned tourism at last right if you talk about hospitals uh, the food is being prepared for the patients so it's again who prepare the chefs are the only one who prepares the food 
and uh, during this uh, time i would like to tell students uh, just just be innovative it's a very interesting course and i would like to tell you that uh, keep on doing practicals regarding this uh, you you will be getting lots of hands on practicals as it's a skill based program it's not only a threat a theoretical program in which you'll be only on uh, theory or but uh, yes you are you will be having a good hand on practicals and at last your practical skills will be like it will be which will be really valued at last so uh, that's all and uh, in in case if any students they want to be in touch with me they can always contact me or rupneet ma'am and um, i'll always be here for them and for the industrial trainings or something so right now i am having my own restaurant which is known as guest waitry hub it was awarded as the best newcomer restaurant by chef association of five rivers through punjab so in case you guys have any doubts or something either in any of a segment you can always let me know thank you so much Thank you, Chef Manju. Today, with a deep satisfaction, we conclude that there is no alternative to hard work and dedication at this institute. We not only give our students the best, but also sustain in them the efforts and passion for success. I thank you, all the parents and the students and all the dignitaries. And last but not the least, thanks. to this digital platform who is the savior in this pandemic thank you all stay safe stay healthy